Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to recognize March as National Red Cross Month. While Red Cross Month has been celebrated since 1943, the Red Cross itself has been making an impact on community health since 1881. In 1889, Claire Barton led one of the first mobilizations to a national disaster following the Johnstown Flood. This site is in the process of being preserved today and is known as the Clara Barton House. Perhaps the organization's best known program, the American Red Cross, established the first nationwide civilian blood donation program in the 1940s. According to the organization, someone in the United States needs blood every two seconds. Less than 38% of the U.S. population is eligible to give blood, and only 3% of those individuals donate annually. The critical need for blood and the life-saving potential that comes with a donation cannot be overstated. The American Red Cross has always been a leader in this effort, and today they still provide more than 40% of the blood products in the United States. I'd like to encourage all healthy Americans to donate blood and plasma, and in the wake of the pandemic, it is needed now more than ever. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back the balance of my time.